Hey everyone, this is Josh with another Bitcoin and blockchain tutorial available at chaintuts.com. Today I'm going to be doing a little opinion piece on why I think you should spend some of your cryptocurrency and not just hold on to it for the long term. Now I want to preface this by saying I'm not against long term savings for cryptocurrencies, just like I think you should have some savings for emergencies and for the future in whatever fiat currency you deal with day to day. But I think there are too many people in the crypto space that are caught up on just watching the price and trying to make money on cryptocurrencies and are kind of missing the point about what makes them so, uh, so useful and interesting and unique as a day-to-day -day transactional currency. So why do I think you should spend your cryptocurrencies, your Bitcoin, your Bitcoin Cash, your Litecoin, your Ethereum, you name it? Well, there's a couple reasons uh, why I think these currencies are so useful for day-to-day -day use. The first is that cryptocurrency transactions are very secure. By nature, by design, they're push transactions. When you go to a store and spend money with your credit card or debit card, you have to give the merchant private information, which is your card number, and trust them to keep it safe and secure. With cryptocurrencies, the only information that's shared in a transaction is all public. So it's much more secure by design. You send money to them without having to reveal any personal private information. Second is that these currencies are completely global and decentralized. There's no banks, there's no governments that can get in the way of you exchanging with somebody else. So you can buy goods, you can donate to causes that you think are important in countries that maybe have you know, censorship or sanctions against um, you know, a certain group of people or, or uh, implementation of an idea. And you can share money with anyone in the world who's interested in this. The third reason is that uh, cryptocurrencies are very low barrier. There's no know your customer requirements to sign up. There's no paperwork. There's no credit approvals. All you have to do is download a piece of software on your phone or your laptop, and you now have a bank in your own hands. And finally, with the exception of the Bitcoin core chain in its current state, most cryptocurrencies are very low fee uh, when it comes to exchanging money. And it's not reliant on the size uh, or the amount rather of money that you're sending itself. So you can send somebody a dollar or a million dollars worth of cryptocurrency for under a penny on most uh, popular cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin Cash or Litecoin. So now for the fun part. What can you spend your cryptocurrencies on? Well, the first thing is nowadays you can actually buy a lot of physical goods and services with cryptocurrencies, which is really cool. One of the first things that I bought with Bitcoin BTC when I was getting interested in the crypto space was a uh, JavaScript reference book. So, uh, you know, despite being a software person that spends a lot of time on the computer, I love having physical books to reference on uh, topics that interest me. So having this big, thick JavaScript reference book show up at my door after exchanging completely digital money for it was really cool. Another thing that I got more recently is this really cool proof of work rash guard for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, purchased on the Bitcoin.com store. So this is a really nice uh, uniform to wear when I'm rolling with my friends and uh, I can show for Bitcoin at the same time, which is pretty cool. Now another really great thing you can use cryptocurrencies for is donating to causes and projects uh, that you find interesting or valuable. Uh, especially in the open source world, a lot of projects will take cryptocurrency donations. There's a lot of charities out there that will take donations as well because it's so easy to donate with crypto. You don't have to whip out your credit card. You don't have to send a check in the mail. All you need to do in most cases is scan a QR code or copy and paste an address and then you can send a dollar or two dollars to some cause that you care about for next to no fees. So there's a lot of open source projects that I use regularly for my websites like Chain Toots and my personal website. Uh, and I've donated to those projects, you know, a dollar or two here and there uh, using cryptocurrencies like Litecoin. Uh, and that's, that's a great thing to be able to do. It, it really makes donating and being charitable sort of low barrier. 
And lastly, another great thing that you can do with your cryptocurrencies is just share them with others. You probably have family and friends that are curious about how cryptocurrencies work, that have heard of Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency like Ethereum, but they're not quite sure how to get into it and they don't really want to go through setting up an account on an exchange and all those sort of things. Well, you can have them just set up a mobile wallet on their phone and share some crypto with them. Again, it's so simple, it's so low entry and low fee. You can introduce potentially a new lifelong crypto enthusiast uh, using some of your money and being generous with it. When I had the opportunity to give my recent lecture at St. Vincent College introducing students to cryptocurrencies, I had a bunch of students come up to me after class that installed the uh, Bitcoin.com mobile wallet and I sent them uh, you know, a dollar of Bitcoin cash a piece. And now they had a great, easy introduction to the crypto space. So that's just my opinion uh, on why I think, you know, cryptocurrencies are so useful for day-to-day -day spending and why I think that people should use them and sort of drive adoption uh, with, you know, sort of day-to-day -day use rather than just holding or trading or that sort of thing. Again, of course, that's just my opinion and, uh, you know, People have other informed ways of looking at this. But uh, so I would encourage you to, you know, look into it, look at why some people value cryptos as more of a digital gold uh, and, you know, come to that conclusion yourself. But again, I think it's really easy to actually use cryptocurrencies to buy goods and services and do fun things with them like donate. So I encourage you to give it a try. As always, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this uh, interesting and informative and uh, keep an eye out for new tutorials coming out on the website.